This is Dera Arba, a semi-arid area found in Bebeli district located in East Ethiopia. For these semi-pastoralists, life would have been perfect if there had not been a shortage of water in the area. This is a hand-dug well found in Tuluora. One can understand how water is important to human beings by just standing here and observing what is going on around this well for a few minutes. The people drink the water from the well, which doesn't look clean. They wash their clothes and body here. They also bring some of their animals here so that they could quench their thirst, drinking as much water as they need. Arduum Head is here with her baby, who is barely one month old. She walked for two hours to arrive here from her home found in Dera Arba. Seeing pregnant women like this one at the well is actually not a huge surprise. Pregnant women walk long distances to arrive here. Asha Abdullahi is also from Dara Arba. She says she has even given birth on the way to the well. Even if they are fewer in number, some men also come here to fetch water. Muhammad Ashgari is one of them. Scarcity of water may result in the displacement of many people to another area. Gemachu Gurma is director of the Dari Arba Mention for Mention Primary School. In the periphery of the Warada, where some pastoralists are living, uh, if water is not available in the localities, the whole family may move to a new place. In which case, students who have already enrolled in schools will definitely leave the school. And in such cases, it's very critical for MFM and for any development organization to, 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 to avail water near uh, basic infrastructures like schools, clinics, so that the youngster can join school and uh, maybe become a better uh, citizen uh, rather than for uh, being a pastoralist once again. Juwara Abdi lives in Tula Oro. It is now around 10 a.m. She is coming back from the well where she fetches water. Juwara is blind, but because she has to go to the well every day, she doesn't need anybody to help her find the way to the well. <laughs> Uh, 
halkanira halkanira khoda no sonchi ne dein o so khoda ni chene dein ne ti amma kho zafri tu fi amma ta de ga ne ti de mani gar fi malle manol sen ne kam yetani an gai gana dulle na bade te sila ada kana na gode o so na kana tarkiso an ni kana na gode in areas like this one water can be found nearby and the people don't need to walk for hours to find water but they get water from the ground by digging the sand from a dry river course the local people call this water source chirosh in most cases the water is not clean to add insult to injury different livestock like this ox drink from this same chirosh Hans Schroeder, a German water engineer, is a highly experienced dowser. In March 2012, he came to Babeli district to do the dowsing before the digging of water wells. He had come to Babeli 3 years ago to do the same. Hans Schroeder is not paid. He is a volunteer. Shallow wells are those wells that are as deep as 50 meters. Before the digging of shallow wells, The spot where the water well is to be dug must be identified. The spot is identified by conventional hydrogeological methods and also by a process called dowsing. Dowsing is done by an experienced person who knows where the water is found. The equipment that Schroeder has in his hand is called a fork. Once Schroeder concludes that an area has underground water, he walks around the area. holding his fork in his hand until the fork indicates to him the right spot where the water will be found i'm uh, working since more than 20 30 years uh, in water finding in for the german technical aid in a lot of countries and uh, i found over more than 1000 points to drill and we drilled it and uh, the success rate is over 90% and i was in a few deserts in uh, yemen in uh, sinai in namibia and even in areas where it's very very dry in uh, the west bank and in african countries asian countries so and um, yeah and my working way is i combine two methods the geophysical measuring and the radiesthesy radiesthesy means water finding by uh, dowsers geophysical instruments alone are not enough to identify the right spot where water is found the involvement of experienced dowsers like schroder is crucial to save time and money We knew this is a very difficult place and since normal geophysical and hydrogeological um, uh, investigations didn't show any options for getting water we said okay why not uh, using the dosing method and uh, then we approached uh, Hans Rutter if he would be willing to assist us to help this uh, desperate situations in in Babylon in particular and kindly enough he agreed to come even without uh, honorarium <coughs> schroder identified 14 spots in different areas of babeli where there could be underground water before he returned to his homeland two months later excelia water well drilling company brought this drilling rig to babeli to drill the wells Women especially welcomed it by ululating, singing, and dancing. After all, they are the ones burdened with the responsibility of fetching the water.
Axelia is run by professionals from Malta and Ethiopia. Adrian Gixty, 32, is from Malta. He has been drilling wells since he was 15. Here, he is using these copper rods to see how the underground water flows before they begin drilling. For now, um, when we do the dowsing, we know that there's water. But about the depth, we don't know. Here, the point where the drilling is to be started is being cleaned. The drilling is done by this rig. So far, there is no sign of water. Although the depth of shallow wells do not usually exceed 50 meters, to ensure they have done all they can to find water, they dig an additional 5 meters. The 55 meters are dug, but there is no water. The Mention for Mention staff and the drilling company workers feel bad when they fail to find water after digging for hours. The people who celebrated hoping they would get water more than anybody feel sorry when the drilling ends with no fruitful results. Here in another area, the drilling has been a success. The ground was dug and the eagerly awaited water has been found. These pebbles are put in the well so that the water comes out clean. The farmers living in the area were overjoyed and have slaughtered a goat for the drilling crew. Here in Vishnabili, the shallow well is going to be used for the first time by the people today. Two months have passed since the drilling. During these two months, the above ground construction was carried out and the chemical content of the water was also tested in Addis Ababa and was found to be safe for drinking. The water is going to come up through these blue pipes that are being inserted into the well. The people in the surrounding area, especially women, are eagerly awaiting to finally see clean water coming out of these pipes.
galata saagal chu den den ga kharabu ma galata sane agal chu fi gaaba dura gaizatti rakko addati nu rajira khara gara rammo qabuni jira khan aske za debe harka kana ke za sane cha ke za oso chira cha hare bi sha wora aske za rammo sente rammo mana akma debe bisi dimo fa iraguro no ri tikka khan imba fi malaka nefka ti basani khakana kana rakko nu guddo nu ko nama jira madru Galata mission amale darajan sa daraja olit totally we constructed more than 100 water systems hand dug well and shallow wells among this 345 shallow wells and the rest 60 something are hand dug wells from all this 90% of the scheme are now operational i think some of them are dried Uh, because of land uh, uh, current uh, environmental situation because of mention for mentions intervention currently nearly 80% of the population of Babeli district has access to clean water this according to the project manager of the Babeli integrated rural development program Israel Asfal is more than the national average you can see nowadays that women are fetching water near their villages which has dramatically reduced the workload on them because you know women are toiling from day to day not only fetching water but they have a lot of social responsibilities and household household responsibilities and um, for mfm to relieve them from one of their uh, workload is a huge success The people are grateful to mention for mention for investing a lot of money to bring the right professionals and the experts to construct the water wells. They are now drinking clean water that they fetch from wells that are easily accessible.